Hey girl, I'm gonna try to make a video for you. Explain some of this. Um, oh, the lighting's terrible in here at night. <laughs> Just ignore how bad I look. Okay, so, um, where do I start? Um, you've heard of Train Your Brain, right? Do you ever follow Dana Wilde? I guess I kind of have always had a belief that we know what we need to do to solve our own problems. We just need someone to ask us the right questions to get us there. And so something I've learned that has been really helpful is how our brains work and how our thought process works. So bear with me while I try to explain this. <laughs> um, and you've probably heard this before just maybe in other terms, I don't know. So we have a higher brain and a lower brain, just keeping it super simple. <laughs> um, our higher brain, that's our prefrontal cortex where we do our thinking and our planning and where we make good choices. Our lower brain, I think of as our toddler brain. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm like, no, I'm eating really healthy, I'm making good choices. And then sometimes my toddler brain is like, no, I want ice cream and I don't care. I just want ice cream and you better not tell me I can't have it. <laughs> and we all have both of those. And some of us aren't aware how much our toddler brain is running our lives. Um, and some of us don't know how to, that we have more control over the, that than we think. So. That's kind of where this comes from. And at first, just bear with me, it takes a while, and we can coach on this quite a few times, but just the basic is understanding how our thoughts work. So this is the model that I use. First is a circumstance. So a circumstance is a fact. It's something that can be proven in a court of law. So if you were to tell me my aunt looked at me funny and I knew she was super mad at me, okay? The only thing you could prove in a court of law was your aunt looked at you, right? She looked at you. Saying she looked at you funny or saying it meant she was mad at you, those are all thoughts. That's where the drama comes in, okay? So, we think thoughts all the time based on what we see around us and how we interpret it. Um, an example might be my husband might get really quiet and I interpret that means he's mad at me. When really, in reality, if I were to say, you're really quiet right now, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, instead of, oh my gosh, he's mad at me. Why is he mad at me? He shouldn't be mad at me. I don't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? Whatever voices and stuff we make up in our head. Um, and how many people really don't even know what they're feeling? You know, when I started learning this, I'd be like, well, I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm feeling at, you know, because we're, we're never taught to think about that. So first you figure out what the circumstance is and then what thought you're thinking about the circumstance because it's the thought that gives you the feeling. And how you're feeling gives you the result and the action you take. So you might be feeling frustrated. So you could put in here frustrated. That's a feeling. And the way we find out what the thought is, because often we just feel something, we don't know why. And sometimes we think we feel frustrated because of all these things happening around us. It's that their fault, that person's fault, or it's traffic's fault, or it's whatever is causing us to feel frustrated. But it's not. What's causing us to feel frustrated is what we're thinking. So what are we thinking that causes the frustration? So here's an example. There's 
traffic on your way to work. Traffic is neutral. It's a circumstance until you think about it, right? So if you think, oh my gosh, I'm stuck in traffic, I'm gonna be late for work. That means I'm gonna be late for that meeting. I'm gonna walk in late, it's gonna be so embarrassing. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you're late for everything. They're gonna, you know, think I'm terrible, whatever. Those are all thoughts that make us feel frustrated or angry or depressed or um, whatever. And then, so say we thought that, we, we thought, because of the traffic, I'm gonna be late. I'll be late. And if I'm late, where's my eraser? I'll be embarrassed. Don't check my spelling. <laughs> I'll be embarrassed, okay? So what is the result of thinking this? So that I get there late, I walk into the meeting kind of sheepishly with my shoulders down, trying to, you know, not be noticed, be like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm late. Um, it was like there was an accident or making up a story or whatever. And then, so we don't show up as our best self. We show up embarrassed, small maybe, Um, what else? So maybe we don't participate in the meeting because we're feeling embarrassed and small, so we're quiet. And then, so what is the action? I wrote it back. It's like, this isn't right. <laughs> the action comes first. <laughs> Sorry. So, the action is that we're small and quiet. So the result is People probably think whatever, whatever we're thinking, we're embarrassed that they're gonna think badly of us. And so the result is um, people treat us, maybe they ignore us because we're quiet and small. So they talk over us. And the result always goes back to reinforce the thought I'll be late, people will think less of me. There's always more than just one thought. Okay, does that make sense? Right, so what if we were in traffic and we thought, something positive. So so that thought didn't serve you. It didn't, when something serves you, a thought that makes you feel good and it serves you, your action is being the best you you can be. It's showing up as the best you you can be. So if you wanted to show up the best, you could be like, oh, there's traffic. And then you could think, oh shoot, I'm gonna be late. Or you could think, um, and, and people will think less of me. Or you could think, I'm just going to enjoy the book I'm listening to on CD or on my iPad or whatever, on my phone, <laughs> while I'm traveling and just enjoy this time. Um, I'm sure the meeting will be fine without me. I'll be able to make my points when I get there not gonna be a big deal. And so suddenly you change the situation that could have resulted in all this negativeness 
to it's fine. Thought is it's fine. All is well. And so how do you feel when you feel like everything's fine and all is well? You feel peaceful. So when you feel peaceful, maybe happy, how do you show up? You stand up straight, your shoulders are back, you walk in, you smile at people, excuse me a minute, you know, I'm not sure if you covered this topic already, but I just wanted to, you know, put in my two cents about this, blah, blah, blah. And you present yourself fine, because you're fine. It's not a big deal, right? So you show up as your best self. And the result is generally you're respected. And all is well. So that's like a super, super simplified example. <laughs> but it will just help you understand when I'm saying, well, what were you thinking before that? Or tell me more about your feeling of frustration, okay? This is what I'm getting at. Because if we can get back to what the circumstance is and get rid of the drama and figure out what we're thinking, often we find out that our thoughts are what are exhausting us. Because we're thinking things like, oh, nobody else is ever late, I'm the only one that's late. Or, oh, if I just had left five minutes earlier, I knew I didn't need to grab that one thing at the end, I would have been on time, or I would have missed this, blah, 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 and, it's, and this constant dialogue of berating ourselves. Constant dialogue of, if we just would have done something different, life would be perfect. And the reality is that's a lie. It's not true. Your life is exactly how it's supposed to be, and you know that because that's how it is. So it's time to stop the negative self-talk that's creating all these issues for us. So that's just kind of train your brain 101. So I wanted you to start there and kind of start processing those thoughts before we do a coaching session, okay? Let me know if you have any questions.